Hey guys, Night Raven here, and it's time for some more Foundry. <sighs> Today I actually want to go off, um, I want to actually go look for other resources. <clears throat> you know, see about uh, see about getting some more research resources for uh for the base when uh, the time comes <sighs> ah this terrain is so rough to get over Okay, there's water. Something I can't really use. Technium ore. Okay. What would happen if I... Okay, so I don't really have a breath, so... Okay, so Technium or Technium or here... Okay. Here it is. Okay, so research is done. Let's get this out of the way. The uh, conveyor balancer, too, since I just learned how to do the first one. Okay, this is a problem. Okay, so... Greenhouse escalators. Okay, so... <clears throat> hmm. <sighs> Next, I should actually get the mining drill two. How am I going to get everything? Thing back. What would happen if I... Great. Ah, 
one little block like this and What would happen if I... Okay, that cuts it off. Ooh! That actually worked. Oh, um... There we go. No more water. Perfect. Now, how am I going to get all this stuff back? Okay, so... Would it be easier to go around the mountain or through the mountain? <clears throat> Part of me feels maybe going around the mountain would be easier than over or un uh, through. That way I know my base is not going to run out of resources anytime soon. Okay, so it's not even showing that, so... Inventory space. Maybe this would be a better choice next than uh, mining speed. So the conveyor belts are having a little trouble keeping up. That's done. I could increase my uh, crafting speed, but extra space on my character, I feel, would be a lot better. Ignium, Ignium, Technium, Ignium, Xenoferret. Let's head this way and see what happens. I know I'm not doing much in this episode, but I would feel better if I knew where some resources were before saying, before freaking out over the fact that my base is running out of material. Xeno ferret. Xeno ferret there. And it's underwater. Great. Great. Ooh, I never really took the time to notice. Another planet? I 
I think you just ping that uh, Xenoferrite again. Ooh! Ignium Ore. Can't not reach. What is this? Okay. You know what? Since I picked up the other critter, why not? Xenoferrite way down there. How do I get that? Ah, oh, damn, that's far. There's nothing out here. Other than a couple of xenoferric deposits are like way underground. Xenoferric technium. Okay. Technium. Okay, so. Ooh, here we go. Technium. Yes, nice little path going here. I just want to clear this thing out. Is that so hard? Is that too much to ask? It must be if it's going to give me this much trouble. Ugh. So that thing is going to give me another 10 slots <sighs> I am going to need a lot of any conveyor belts if it's
I feel it would be better if I went for this technium. Okay, so... Tank... Defense, explosives, circuit board, chemical processing. Jetpack. I would need explosives. Mining efficiency, mining force, portable light, Power pole, advanced steel making, the core windows, doors, escalators, incinerator, lights, or refinement, greenhouse, ah. Uh, Assembler two. Chemical processing. Is there no vehicles in this game? Data manipulation, the core three. Drone mining miner two. Let's get this out of the way. So, ooh, that is quite a bit more space. Traveling this far just for resources. Ah. Uh, is it really worth it? Another little ram type critter. <sighs> Going all this way just for resources. This is different terrain. This part of the ore cannot be mined. Use a handheld scanner to find a suitable drill point. Is this the oil? That's the only thing I can think of <clears throat> with this ki kind of stuff. Traveling all this way just for resources. I don't know if it is viable at this point. Especially if, uh... Assembly lines. Conveyor 3. You know, I would feel better if they actually had vehicles in this game. And not just, ooh, here's a better conveyor belt. 
that you can transport things a little bit faster. And have to travel this far just for resources. I mean, I like the fact that you have to go out of your way to get resources, but when it comes to going this far, it's like, is it really worth the effort to say, hey, look, let's get this stuff way over here. This is a conveyor belt box. Critters in there, put the draw pot in there, sand, dirt, there. Do I really want to go that far just for resources? You're not even offering me anything anymore. Ferrite. Oh, another little Shrublands critter. Zeno ferrite. Uh, it's just on the edge of uh, the scanning range.
Do I really want to go this far just for resources? Oh, it just picked something else up. Ooh, xenoferrite, xenoferrite, technium, xenoferrite. Unreachable? This is more forest terrain. Xenoferrite, xenoferrite. So crafting speed has been increased again. There's... There's nothing over here. Damn it, man. Uh, I was hoping for... A little less mountainous terrain and a touch more resources. But this is ridiculous. Technium ore, all this stuff is underground. Like I don't mind digging a little bit, what, but when you have to go this far just for technium ore, One point seven kilometers from <sighs> and you're not given any like you're not given any vehicles or anything. What is this? What is this stuff? And why is it not picking it up? Unknown resource. Teluxite. What are the chances I just found this stuff without even... Why? Why are you given office furniture and no vehicles? <sighs> I'm gonna call it here. This game, I thought, was going to be fun, but if you have to go that far just for resources and you are not given any uh, vehicle f to transport it, like, no little uh, cars or anything to say, hey, follow this exact path to say, go from point A to point B transporting resources that way 
if it's, there's nothing like that, it's going to be like, uh, it's going to take forever to get any research done. So I'm going to, I'm going to call it here. Well, I hope you enjoyed this game. And if you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you're new, and thanks for watching. Until the next game. Bye.